what you have in the pew is predicated on what you have in the pulpit. You, if you have a sick pulpit, you've got a sick congregation. You have a prosperous pulpit, you have a prosperous congregation. You have a scared pulpit, you have a scared congregation. You have a prejudiced, racist pulpit, you have a prejudiced, racist congregation. That's all you can have. The congregation is a result of the pastor. And so some pastors are leeches. What I mean by that is that they don't wait and get anything from God to find out what's their assignment or what they're supposed to do. They just look around and see what other pastors are doing. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, he. Oh, my goodness. Look what he did. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. And they, and they just do things, and they really don't have a conviction in their heart. They don't have a leading of the Spirit of God to do it. So they'll grab onto anything that seems like it's current and popular. Then when it doesn't produce for them, then they want to cop out by saying, the Lord is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. And that's what happened to the, the, the principles of faith. You know, God has to work through people. And sometimes we're so habituated with our traditions that he can't get a word in edgewise, as it were. So he has to wait until somebody has an open heart and an open ear that he can plug into by his spirit and give an emphasis on a particular part of his covenant.